హాయ్ ఎవ్రీబడి ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ టి వరుణ్ రాజు హెడ్ ఆఫ్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ జనరల్ అండ్ లాప్రోస్కోపిక్ సర్జరీ ఎట్ సెయింట్ థెరసా హాస్పిటల్ సనత్ నగర్ హైదరాబాద్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ట్వంటీ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఇన్ ఇండెక్స్డ్ జర్నల్స్ ఆఫ్ సర్జరీ అండ్ లాప్రోస్కోపీ అండ్ ఐ ఆల్సో వర్క్ ఎట్ దుర్గాబాయ్ దేశ్ముఖ్ హాస్పిటల్ హైదరాబాద్ ఫర్ సెవెంటీన్ ఇయర్స్ in the department of general surgery and laparoscopy and uh, i was a pg teacher and uh, i have given more than 30 scientific papers in various local national and international surgery uh, conferences held at different places and i am a author of two books and one of my book recently got published and released in uh, national asicon association of surgeons of india 2021 and the book is titled as the timeline history of laparoscopy and hernia i conduct a lot of workshops at various places and guest lecture, lectures at various uh, medical colleges in uh, laparoscopy and general surgery and worked at pace gastro hospital in gastro surgical gastroenterology and also i am um, i am training uh, ms surgeons and gynecologist in basic laparoscopic surgery skills course and uh, presently i am teaching the post graduates at uh, saint teresa hospital in general and laparoscopic surgery there are many modalities of treatment like open surgery and minimal access surgery uh, of course the minimal access surgery has got many many varieties now like ipom plus or tom surgery tarm surgery or etap surgery and uh, for inguinal hernia we can do a tapp surgery tep surgery or etap surgery and sometimes we may have to do a hybrid surgery where the little bit open surgery followed by a laparoscopic surgery and the hernia surgery with the minimal access surgery has got the advantages to the patients because the patients can discharge early compared to the open surgery the pain is less the analgesics or painkillers what we use to the patients are also less and the patient can walk early they can go to home the hospital bills will be less and they can go to their office as early as possible compared to the open surgery and cosmetic the scar is very less and in our department saint teresa hospital uh, sanat nagar hyderabad we are dealing with abdominal wall reconstruction surgery awr surgery where the mesh will be nicely placed in preperitoneal space with the surgery that is called as component separation the posterior component separation like uh, transverse abdominis release tar surgery we are doing here and also we do anterior component separation for in certain patients and the success rate is best in saint teresa hospital with a team of uh, laparoscopy and general surgery team and anesthesia with very good post operative care here is very important to go to the surgeon as early as possible because at the first stage only if you get treated with various modalities then the treatment will be permanent so the treatment modalities are more usually we give lifestyle modification first to the patients ask them to take a lot of water a lot of fiber a lot of salads and ask them not to take midnight biryanis midnight uh, foods and other things maintain the timings take a lot of uh, water and do exercise and take the raw uh, i mean fruits not the fruit juices so if the conservative management or the lifestyle modification is not working to the patient and we advise piles patients for surgery so most of the times now recently every everybody are talking about the lasers 
but there is a gold standard treatment which is available uh, with my 20 years of experience is MIPH that is a stapler hemorrhoidectomy which has got a beautiful results because the base of the hemorrhoids are going to be uh, removed with this uh, particular instrument. Of course, there are some other treatments modalities like uh, sclerotherapy or we can um, do a, uh, I mean, a ring application or we can also treat the patient with the laser, Haldrar and there are certain latest treatment modalities are also available. So usually the surgery is now uh, laparoscopic surgery, laparoscopic appendicectomy. We put small, small openings of abdomen and special instruments will go inside and we see the appendix uh, in a monitor and we will do the appendicectomy. Removal of appendix is called as appendicectomy. So most of the times the patients will be recovered uh, fast like in the Next day morning, the patient will stand up and they can walk and within about 48 hours, the patients are going to be discharged. The advantages are less pain, less drugs, less medication to the patient, early discharge to home and early uh, attendance to their offices. And of course, the, the scar is very small cosmetic. But sometimes if the appendix is not properly treated or if they have not taken the proper treatment by the physician or a surgeon, then the appendix will get ruptured. That is a emergency and even that cases also we can deal with the laparoscopy or if it is not possible, the other modality is an open appendicectomy, open surgery. Usually it is daycare surgery, most of the times people will recover faster and the expenses are low. After the ultrasound and the blood test, we usually uh, post for a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. That means removal of the gallbladder, which is a small balloon kind of structure, lies um, behind the liver. This will, the gallbladder will store about 15 to 20 ml of bile, uh, which does not have any function. So removal of the gallbladder will never lead to any problem to the patient. Most of the patients will come and say that, uh, uh, Sir, would you like to remove the gallbladder or the stones? Why should we remove the gallbladder? See, the thing is, once you remove the stones, the stones are going to form again. Because the gallbladder is not working. And if you keep the gallbladder, the recurrence of the stones are very common. Uh, so, it's always better to remove the gallbladder totally uh, in a through laparoscopic way. Nowadays, the gallbladder stones uh, gallbladder surgery uh, is done uh, with laparoscopic way and that is the gold standard procedure for the gallbladder stone management. So usually triple examination is very important to examine a breast lump uh, like physical examination, mammography, and FNSE, five needle aspiration cytology. We also do for ultrasound and the five needle aspiration is very important to find out what could be the characters of the cells, either a benign breast uh, lumps or a malignant one. If they are benign like a fibroadenomas, which are very commonly uh, seen in the public, the usually the treatment would be we can wait and watch and see that some of the uh, lumps are going to disappear as the age grows up. Or we need to remove it through a cosmetic incision at the sub areolar place and that can be removed and subjected for the histopathology for confirmation that it is a benign. And some of the early breast malignancies, wide local excisions can be done and properly we need to uh, take the uh, make the staging of the breast malignancy and the oncoplastic surgeons or surgical oncologist will nicely make over a proper decisions regarding the management of cancer breast. Breast examination is mandatory after 40 years of age and find out if there are any minute changes 
regarding the nipple and the sizes of the breast and if any lumpy bumpy things are there then you should consult immediately our department general surgery and usually most of the surgeries nowadays are breast conservation treatment bc uh, t and with adjuvant management and of course after removal of the breast there are many uh, cosmetic techniques available to make the breast reconstruction so always prevention is better than the cure so do the self breast examination frequently and if any changes are there always consult our department general surgery and laparoscopy